Now another interesting story. This is Thomas Andrew, the chief designer of the famous ship called Titanic. I think all of you are aware about Titanic and Thomas Andrew is the person who is the chief designer of Titanic. You know what happened? This designer, Thomas Andrew, he designed the entire ship so perfectly well that they even gave a caption to Titanic. You know what is the caption? They mentioned this ship, even God cannot sink. That was the pride they had about the ship, what they had designed. And the chief designer is Thomas Andrew. And before the launch, before the voyage about to start, so, Tom, Thomas Andrew had made sure that the entire design, everything was so perfect and somebody else had made some change. And Thomas Andrew had told that don't make that change. If you make that change, some danger can happen. They ignored Thomas Andrew. They made the change. And finally, we know what happened. The Titanic was sunk in the water. It collapsed. This Thomas Andrew was again born as William Barnes. So before he was Thomas Andrew and now he is William Barnes. So if you want, you can Google again. Just type uh, Thomas Andrew or Titanic reincarnation something. So you can get this story on Google. So here they had an interview with uh, William. So currently he is William. So when he was asked, so sir, please tell me what is the purpose of your uh, birth? And William, when he was uh, born, when he was just three, four years old, he started drawing sh the design of ship. He has not even go gone to school. He doesn't even know ABCD properly, A to Z. But he started writing the design of the ship and he would say this is how it should be and they made this mistake, that mistake and parents were fed up of this boy. Always, whenever it, he has free time, he would sit with a pen and paper, pencil and paper and start drawing the ship. And uh, during the interview, he said, he was asked, what is the purpose of your life? He said, I have come in this life. My only purpose of this life is to get the name back of Thomas Andrew. Because as Thomas Andrew, I have not done any mistake. The mistake was done by somebody else and the blame was put on Thomas Andrew. And in this life, I have come to prove that I have not done any mistake. Because it was such a big damage that Titanic was sunk. So now the question comes, why some people remember their past life? and why most of the people, they don't remember their past life. Whenever I give this seminar uh, in different places, I ask this question, how many of you want to remember your past life? Everyone raises their hands. Ah, we, sir, we want to know, we want to know, we want to know. Would you like to know your past life? Most of us, we don't remember our past life. If you don't remember your past life, I would like to tell you, congratulations. Why am I, uh, why I'm con congratulating all of you? Because it is a great blessing from God. I can say it is a great blessing of God that we don't remember our past life. Why am I saying this? Friends, just analyze in this life, by remembering our past, the pain and uh, traumatic situations, the loss of our near and dear ones, if we just remember in this life, it becomes so painful, difficult for us to go on with our life. We have to forget many things in this life to go on. Friends, just imagine other than this life, if I start remembering the previous life, it is more painful. It is definitely more painful. I have to manage this life. I have to manage the previous life memories also. And so, so much of confusion, so much of trauma. Now, just imagine in this life, I am married. In previous life, I am married to somebody else. 
So now should I live with the other the person whom I have married in the last life or should I live with the person married in this life? It's such a tough time. Should I live and take care of the children of this life or should I take care of the children of the previous life who are much elder than me? Such a big confusion, such a big trauma. Right? So why we don't remember? It is the blessing of God that we don't remember. Why some people remember? So why some people remember their past life memories? Because either something very good has happened or either something very bad has happened. So in the case of Deep Kapadia, he had been he was murdered by one person and he came in this life to prove that he has been murdered from that person and he wanted to take a revenge. Either if I love someone, if the attachment is very strong, then again I want to take birth and come back and establish the same relationship. Point number one, if I have love and if I am too attached to a person, I want to come back in next life and be with that person. Or number two, if I hate someone, if someone has wounded me, if someone has tortured me and if I am pained by that so much, so intense that I want to come back again in the next life, I want to take revenge. So finally, only those people who remember the past life are, are those who have got this intense desire. So the desire is so intense, so powerful that that doesn't end in one life and they continue in the next life to either show the love or take revenge. And if we are not able to remember the past life means we have not experienced such kind of intense powerful emotion that is why so we will continue further thank you very much